Kayla Lachey and today we are talking about high school. The things I loved and the things I hated. Can you relate? Orientation was always so fun, especially the first day of school because everything was new. It's like, yo, what's up? I'm in high school, no longer in middle school. So you get your schedule, texting all your friends, always super exciting because you get to tell them, hey, this is my class list, what do you have? And then you come to realize that none of your friends have any of the same courses as you. Dang, now I have to be social in my classes and make new friends. For why? And you know, it's always, always a bummer to have to set your alarm clock for 5.30 because I'm a girl that can't decide what to wear. And it's like no matter if I try to plan my outfit the night before, I still never end up actually wanting to wear that outfit. So I have to spend more time trying to put together my OOTD. Being a girl is a struggle. You know, we have to do a lot of things in the morning. Whereas guys can just hop out of the bed and they woke up like these. And then everyone has that one teacher that yells at you and says, hey, no eating in this classroom. Yet they're sitting over there at their desk, munching on a big bag of Funyuns. The flaming hot Funyuns. For why? I'm sorry, but I feel as though we should be able, as students, to leave campus to go off and venture to get lunch. Chipotle, you know, Panera, a little Starbucks in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I was okay with having to spend seven hours at school because, you know, there were good times, there were bad times. I was okay with that, you know? I was chill until I had to come home and do three hours of homework. Where is time to sleep, okay, and watch Netflix? When can I fit that in my schedule? Can I have a life? You couldn't tell me nothing about my 11 minute mile in gym class, okay. I was like Speedy Gonzalez on that track, shoot. I always got super anxious when I was in class and my teacher was like, all right guys, we're gonna do this assignment with a partner. So I look across the room and I make eye contact with my homie and I'm like, yes, we're gonna be partners. But then she breaks the news to you. She says that uh, she's gonna pick our partners. Okay. That one kid in class that had to ask the teacher, hey, do we have homework or not? Just as the bell was about to ring because I knew that the teacher was going to forget to tell us our assignment until that kid had opened up his mouth. For why? Have you ever had an annoying locker neighbor? Because they exist. There should be common courtesy rules, okay, when you're at your locker. Don't open up your locker door all the way so your next door neighbor can't get into theirs or even do their combination. Come on, like, can you just get over a little bit? Can you, a little bit? All right. I'm just trying to go to class, you know, walking down the hall. There should be a rule, signs posted everywhere. You have to go faster than two steps a minute. I have places to be, the bell's about to ring, and you're there tiptoeing down the hall. Not gonna fly. Don't stop and talk. Don't stop and kiss your boo. Don't, don't stop to stop to stop. Just, just move out of the way. Move out of the way. I have struggled with those awkward situations where, you know, someone would add you on Facebook that went to school with you. You know, you would chat on Facebook because you were Facebook friends. And then you would actually see them at school and they would act like they didn't even know who you were. What? And then there was that kid in the class that only talked to you to copy your homework. And you had a crush on him, so you said, okay, it was fine, you just let him do his thing and he just used me. You would be in class, doing your work, writing down your notes, and then homegirl, who's not even a homegirl, just asked, yo, you got a pencil I can borrow? And you know you have backup pencils because you have a pencil pouch, but you know in the back of your mind, I'm not gonna give you a pencil to use because the last time I did that, you never gave it back. Do I look like rent a pencil? No. So whether you love school or you hate school, I hope that I can make this year a little bit better for one of my dolls. I am doing a giveaway on this beautiful fossil watch that I won from a bidding war on Top Hatter, and you better appreciate this, okay? It's brand spanking new. It's fresh. Top Hatter auction rooms feature thousands of items every single day, and anytime that you choose to visit, you have a chance to discover something new. It's free to bid, it's free to sign up, everything is free, you only have to pay when you purchase something just as I did. I was in a bidding war with this lady and I was like, no, 
by Felicia and I bought the watch and I won. I'm so excited for one of you dolls to be rocking this on your wrist. And if you're deal obsessed just like me, then this is the place where you need to be. You can go to tophatter.com right now or you can download the app on the iPhone or you can get it for Android users as well. And you can also get $5 off your first purchase from Top Hatter by using my coupon code dollies at checkout. I wish I could keep this for myself, but that would be really selfish of me. So how do you be entered into winning this beautiful watch for a to school? Well, let me tell you. Numero uno, you must be a subscriber to my channel, so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. Number two, you must give this video a big thumbs up. You must leave a comment down below telling me what you are most excited about going back to school and what you are least excited about. So hit up the comment section below and I will catch you dolls next time. Bye.